everyone, Mike Scan here, senior pastor of Epic Life Church in Terrell, Texas. And this is our Three Minute Thursdays where we take a look at subjects and topics of the Bible in three minutes or less. Today, we're gonna hammer down on three minutes of salvation, on salvation. What is salvation? It's a question I get asked a lot as a senior pastor is, what does it mean? Am I saved? What does it look like? Well, first and foremost, understanding salvation in its basic form means to be bought back or the word redeemed. Some people use the word saved to be redeemed. It means to be bought back, that God bought us back from the penalty of our sin. Sin meaning death. Someone had to pay the price for sin. What is sin? Sin is breaking God's law. We all have sinned and fall short to God's glorious standard. So who can be saved then? All who call upon the name of Yeshua. See, when you and I make a decision to repent from our sin, and follow Jesus, follow his teaching, follow his way of life, we, the Bible says, are saved. And when we become saved, the Bible says that we are transformed, that we're no longer that old person, we now become a new person in Christ Jesus. Matter of fact, in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18, gives us a beautiful picture of what this looks like. It says, so from now on, we do not look at anyone from a worldly viewpoint. What does that mean? Is that we don't look at people like we used to, because now we understand that we are spiritual and we've had a spiritual transformation, things will look different. Then it says, even if we once regarded Jesus, the Messiah, from a worldly viewpoint, we do so no longer. Therefore, if anyone is united with the Messiah, he is a new creation. The old has passed. Look, what has come is fresh and new. It means that your life is transformed, that God no longer views you or sees you through your sin, but now he sees you uh, as a member of his family, as a member of what we call the one new man, the new family in Jesus. And we, when we are saved through Yeshua, we now get to live a life that's transformed from the inward person and not our outward person. So it's not from our flesh, but now from our what we call the spirit. Now, it doesn't mean that we we, we never sin, but it means that we, will, we don't wake up in the morning. We don't wake up day to day and willfully try to sin. Matter of fact, in the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 26 through 27, it says that for if we sin willfully after we've received the knowledge of the truth, what truth? That Jesus is our Savior, right? There no longer remains a sacrifice for sin. What does that mean? It means that when we do accept Jesus and we do accept his free gift of salvation, but yet we continue to willfully, we, we willfully want to walk in sin still, it means that the sacrifice that he made was of no avail. It means it was no effect. And so it's act like, it, one passage actually says that it's like re-crucifying him all over again, right? So it doesn't mean that you'll never sin again. It doesn't mean that you will always be perfect, but it means that, that there is a transformation that has happened in your life. And so salvation now brings us into this common wealth of Israel. It brings us into the common relationship with, with God and God's family. And so salvation by means means that you have been bought back. You have been redeemed from your old sinful life and now can live out the life that your father has created by learning the word, prayer, gathering with other believers and all sorts of different things like that. We love you. God bless you. I hope this has answered some of your questions on salvation. Until next time, this is 3 Minute Thursday. God bless.